All right, guys. Okay, here we go. We're going to take this photo right here of this monument that was probably taken on a nice sunny day, and we are going to convert it into this dark, spooky castle. Okay, look at the sky and everything, and look down here at the bottom, and we have this little mist coming across the ground and everything, and we're going to create all of this in Photoshop right now in the video. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this right now. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to Image, Adjust and you guessed it, I'm going right to the levels. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the levels just a little bit, not much. I'm going to adjust my shadows and my, uh, my mid-tones just a little bit right there, okay? That looks pretty good. I'm going to pull those in just a little bit more right about there. This is before, this is after, just a little bit of touch-up, okay? Always remember to do that. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right, now the next step. This is a little tricky for some beginners and stuff, but you're gonna learn how to do it on this video. What we need to do is select the sky in the background. And if you have like a one color sky, in other words, we pretty much see a blue sky in the background. So a really easy way to do this is to just come over here to the toolbar and select the magic wand tool right here. Then I want you to go ahead and click on the sky, bam. Look what happens. We selected the sky, but it looks like it didn't select the entire sky, just a good portion of it, okay? That is because we need to increase the range of the magic wand tool, okay? And, and, and how we do that, we turn up the tolerance up here on the options bar. So I need to turn that up. I'm going to go ahead and select that, and I'm probably going to put in 80, Okay, now let's try it again. I'm gonna come up here to select. I'm gonna deselect my selection. Now I'm gonna come over to the sky and click on it. Look at that. Now we're covering the entire sky because we've increased the range of the magic wand tool and it's that easy. Okay, now check this out. I'm gonna come over here and I'll load up my sky image. Check this out. You can find all these photos that I have on all my videos on, right on the DVD, okay? So don't worry about it if you don't have a cool sky picture or whatever. It's all on the DVD in its own folder. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go up here to select and go to select all, okay? And that will select my entire sky image. And as soon as I do that, I'm going to come over here to edit and come down here to copy, to copy this entire photo into memory. All right. Now you can memonize it or do whatever because we're not going to need this image anymore. I'm going to go ahead and just memonize it. Bam! Back over on the mommy image. And now the next step is to come right over here to edit. And I want you to come down here to paste into Boom, and look what happens. We pasted our sky in the background. It's that easy. But the only problem is, is that the sky photo is bigger than this monument photo. So what we gotta do is come up here to edit and then come down here to free transform, okay? And then I want you to come up here to the options bar and I want you to link the width and height input area by clicking on this little link right here. And then select the width there and then I want you to enter in a smaller value because what we have to do is we have to, do, we have to decrease the size of the sky image just so we can see what's going on here. I'm going to enter 50 and look at that. It's getting a little smaller. But at this point, to control the, the, the size of the sky image, hold down the shift key and then now we can actually do it with the mouse. Look at that. See, that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stretch it out the way I want it here. I'm gonna go ahead and position that just up here. You can have some mountains in the background, it really doesn't matter, but I'm gonna have this full sky image just scraping right over the monument. It looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and go with that right there. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna let go of the mouse, I promise. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and double click inside of this transformation selection to deselect it and that means that I've confirmed that transformation. All right, okay, now what do we do now? What do we do now after we get to this point? I'm gonna show you some magic and you're not gonna believe your eyes. What I want you to do is come up here to select and then select all and we're selecting the entire image again. Then I want you to come up here to edit and then come down here to copy merge, to copy the entire image into memory. Then I want you to come up here to edit, go down here to paste, and you will see it will paste a copy of what we had in memory above all the other layers. And that's exactly what we want. Okay, now the next step, I want you to come over here to image, adjustments, 
and I want you to come over here to hue and saturation. And now we are gonna lower the saturation of the image to give it that spooky cold look. Okay, check this out. I'm gonna lower down the saturation and look what's happening. Now if you go all the way down, it's gonna be black and white. We don't wanna do that. We're gonna just keep it right here. And now don't be up here changing the hue because, oh no, you're gonna ruin the image. So, so just stick down here, just stay down here where the saturation is and adjust the saturation just about to right about there, okay? That looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it and click okay. Now, it's looking pretty spooky to me already, all right? But we're really gonna make it even more spookier than you've ever seen before. This is what I want you to do. Come up here to select and I want you to select all one more time. Then come over here to edit and copy merge to copy everything you have here, all the layers into memory. Then come up here to edit and go to, uh, I'm sorry, go to paste and paste a copy above this layer right here. It becomes layer number three. Not very important, so don't worry about it. We're gonna come up here to filter and come down here to blur and I want you to select Gaussian blur. Okay, whoa, what happened to our image? Blur, no, whatever. Okay, well that's pretty cool, don't worry about it because the, 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 the radius of the blur is so high that we can't can't see anything so go ahead and turn it down just a little bit just about right about here so you can pretty much still see what's in the background then you know you've got the radius setting just about right so that looks pretty good right about there I'm gonna go ahead and click OK all right now I'm gonna come up here to the opacity and turn the opacity down just like the portrait picture and look at that look how soft and spooky that looks oh my god but you know what we are not done yet we still have lots of more stuff to do okay all right we're gonna go on to another step right here after I adjust that opacity I like it right about there that looks pretty good I'm gonna click outside of the opacity slider to deselect it okay the next step you're gonna love this but guess what we are gonna add the foggy mist now. This is really cool. You're gonna love this. I'm gonna come right down to the layers palette at the bottom here and make a new layer. Bam. Next, this is what we gotta do. You've gotta make sure that you press D and X on the keyboard because when you do that, what you're gonna do is set the foreground color set the foreground color to white and set the background color to black. In order to do that, press D and then X, just like that. Then I want you to come up here to filter and then come right down here to render and select clouds. Whoa, what happened? What happened to our image? Don't worry about it, everything's okay. It's okay. What we're gonna do after this is I'm going to en enhance the lightest areas of the clouds by going up to image, adjustments, and going to levels. And I'm gonna come right over here to the highlight slider and move that in just a little bit, just about like there. I'll probably adjust this one a little bit, but it might not be needed. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. All right, now what I want you to do is, this is sort of like a little advanced tip. I want you to come down here, this button at the very bottom of the layers palette, and it's called Add Layer Mask. It's right here. You see where my little mouse is? I want you to click on that, and it'll add a mask right next to the clouds. You see that? And it's all in the same layer. Okay, now what I want you to do is, I want you to come over, and I want you to select the Gradient Tool. Okay, just like that. Then after you select the gradient tool, I want you to hold down the mouse button. Oh, and by the way, after you select the gradient tool, make sure up here on the gradient preset picker that you have selected the second preset because that means that we're going to be filling the foreground to transparent, just like it says right there. And then double click on it to select it. Okay, the next step, I want you to hold down the shift key on the keyboard. Then I want you to position the mouse cursor about three quarters of the way down on the image, just about right here. Then hold down the shift key and then click the mouse button and then drag down just to the bottom of the image and then release the mouse and release the shift key. And look what we have. We have the cool fog. It looks awesome. This is so cool. So this is, we're almost finished with the whole effect, okay? But I'm gonna show you the last effect that we're gonna apply. And this is one of the coolest things you've ever seen before in your life. Okay, I want you to activate the layer that is below the clouds layer right here. Bam, layer number three. Then I want you to hold down the option key and that is the alt key on the Mac and I want you to come right down to the bottom of the layers palette and I want you to click on this little button right here. 
It's called Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer button. Click on that and then select the levels from that little menu there. And then when you see the new layer thing pop up here, I want you to make sure there's a checkbox right here. And it's, it's Use Previous Layer to Create Clipping Mask. After you have that, go ahead and click OK. Now, here is the magic. We need to adjust these three sliders right down here in the levels. I'm sure you've seen them before. So this is what we need to do to create this effect. I'm going to go ahead and bring this in a little bit here and to darken it and then bring back the midtones right here. And then I'm going to bring in the highlights. And this is all about experimentation. And I'm going to keep adjusting these until I get the effect that I'm looking for. I'm going to bring this over here just a little bit so you can see the effect a little more. There we go. Check that out. It's getting darker and more spookier. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. I'm going to change the, height, the, the highlights there a little bit more. And so it's all about experimentation right here, folks. Just grab these little sliders and start playing around with them. And you'll get that effect that you're looking for check that out that's pretty awesome so there you go and that's how you do it and it was that simple it wasn't that hard was it <laughs> it's a little secret but hey now you know the secret whatever go out there and show your family and friends and have a good time